Hey there my friends, Eric Andres, your Guitar Sage here for a really quick video on how to choose the correct acoustic guitar for you. So I get this question a lot from folks and they say, what is the best guitar? And I always would love to give them a straight answer, but it doesn't quite work that simply. Uh, there's not a best guitar, there's what works best for you. So let's talk about the three things that I find really help you to get into the guitar that is best for you, okay? Um, those three things are budget, feel, and sound. If you just think about those three things, you're going to get into the correct guitar for you. Okay, and what I mean by the correct guitar for you is what's good for one person is not good for another. Okay, so why budget first? First off, if you have unlimited amounts of money and you can go and get any guitar that you want, you're in a great place because now it's just a matter of what sounds the best and feels the best to you. Or you can get many guitars to suit your taste. But budget is the number one thing that you have to think about at first because if you only have 500 bucks to look at for a guitar or $200 for a guitar, there's no need in you looking at $600 guitars. Make sense? Now, it's, in my opinion, it's a good education to try some of those other guitars just to try them out to see is it really worth it, okay? But I want you to remember that Budget is going to be the first thing because that's going to allow you to, when you're walking into a store, buying something off Craigslist or buying something online, it's going to allow you to know what range you're looking at. Okay, so number one is budget. Um, we'll, we'll go into this a little bit more in detail. Feel and sound. Obviously, the guitar needs to feel right, okay, meaning the strings can't be too high or the guitar can't be too big or too small for your body type. And all of that has to do with how does it feel to you? Okay, as far as the sound, same thing. Um, you know, in the beginning, you're probably not going to know what sounds good and what doesn't, but if it works for you and it's in a price point that's good for you, those are the things you want to look out for. If you have a friend who has been playing for a while and is very knowledgeable about the guitar, then that would be a great thing to bring them along with you to purchase the guitar. Or if you're at a, an, a reputable dealership, where they're not just trying to upsell you all the time. Most folks are not like that way. Um, but if you have a, a great salesperson where they can help you out and tell you the differences as you're going along, you're going to get an education as well as hopefully get you fit into the right guitar. Okay, so with all that being said, what are you looking out for in regards to sound and feel and budget? What are the things that determine all those? Okay, we're going to mention those really quickly. Obviously, brand name is going to be really important because Certain brands are known to have certain reputations. Gibson, Fender, Epiphone, Gretsch. Uh, there's several others that have great reputations. Now, with all that being said, you can get a Lemon guitar. Not only can you, what I mean by that is a, a guitar that was made by a great brand name, but then turns out to not be a good guitar, so you can find that. And not only that, there are specifically, uh, from those companies, lines of guitars that are made to be more affordable. So that's something else that you need to be aware of when you're looking for a guitar, okay? So the price point is going to matter uh, in regards to that. Again, if you're, if you're in the budget, if it's within your budget, then you can talk about these things. If it's not, then you need to be looking at lower line guitars. Uh, but let's talk about brand names for a minute. What I like to do when I walk into a store, or back in the day, anymore, obviously I can, I can get some guitars that I, that I really want, uh, price point wise. But in the beginning, when I really just couldn't afford a guitar, uh, I didn't worry too much about the name brands. Number one, I couldn't afford them, and number two, um, I couldn't afford them. But uh, brands, to me, uh, can be a little bit misleading, because you can look and you can say, oh, Gibson, that's the best. Well, maybe it is and maybe it's not depending on your price point and the feel and the sound, okay? Um, so, with all that being said, ignore the brand name. If you know, if you walk into a store and you know you've got $500 to spend, take a look at all the guitars that are in the $500 range. Talk to the salesperson and say, you know, can you help me out here in, in pointing out what would be a good brand, what would be a good model, okay? So, important to do that. Don't get overwhelmed by the way a guitar looks. Don't get overwhelmed by the brand name. I've played Gibsons that sucked, and I've played Epiphones that were awesome. Epiphone is a, a line that Gibson, I believe, still owns, and it's known as their lower line. It was its own 
brand at one time, and then they bought it, and it was kind of their lower line. But uh, at an auction one time, I bought uh, several Les Pauls and several Epiphone Les Pauls, and it turned out that the that I liked the Epiphone Les Pauls better than the actual Les Pauls, uh, the Gibson Les Pauls that I bought. That has to do with the batch. Again, you can get lemon guitars. So with all that being said, let's summarize this before we get into in any, anything further. Budget, feel, and sound. When you're looking for a guitar, it's good to go on ratings because you're, you have other people that have purchased something. So if you're buying something off Amazon, that's a good thing to do. But it's best if you can buy a guitar within a store if because you can actually try it out you can hear it you can make sure it feels right on in your bot you know on your lap with your body that sort of thing the size of it the sound of it and the feel of it you can do all this uh one-on-one -on -one as opposed to hoping and going on uh reputation and what have you okay if you have to do it if you have to mail order that's totally fine i've done it before and most of the time i've been very pleased otherwise Walk into your local store, say, this is how much I have to spend. I don't necessarily want to spend it all. Can you please show me what's the best model for this price range? And then try a few of them out because it's going to, again, give you a great education. You're going to be able to say, wow, that one feels better. This one sounds better. And inevitably, there's usually one that you're going to fall in love with. That's all, my friends. Um, hey, I've got 30 free lessons for you. The first 30 lessons that I teach all my students here in Nashville please take advantage of those. The link is below. I would love to help you out with guitar. I'm on Twitter and Facebook and all those places, so I'd love to help you out there too. Leave your comments below. Thumbs up. Subscribe if you'd like. America Andreas, your guitar sage. Please spay and neuter your animals. Be kind to one another, and don't trust the man. See ya.